हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न जी के एंड इन दैट वी लर्न चैप्टर थर्टी फाइव पैरा ओलंपिक गेम्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टूडेंट व्हाट इज द पैरा ओलंपिक गेम द पैरा ओलंपिक गेम और पैरा ओलंपिक्स आर अ पीरियोडिक सीरीज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल मल्टी स्पोर्ट्स इवेंट सो इट मीन्स स्टूडेंट it is a type of and a series of international sports event and in which the para olympic are split into winter game and summer game so it means para olympic game include two type of game winter games and summer games which alternately occur every two year so after every two year para olympic games are occur so now start first para olympic games started in 1960 in rome italy so first para olympic games started in year 1916 and in which country so italy in rome nearly 400 athletes across 23 countries participated in each and uh, nearly 400 athletes means players and uh, across 23 countries are participated in it in 1976 or scorn lords sweden hosted the first para olympic winter game the para olympic games are the second biggest sporting event in the world after the olympic games so student para olympic game was started after olympic game and it's a, a sports event in world second biggest the rank of this game was second in all over world the international para olympic game committee was founded on september 22 1989 it is an international non profit organization in dusseldorf germany so those sports persons are included who have impaired muscle power or movement deficiency in the limb leg length difference sports stature visual impairment cerebral plays etc so student remember this paragraph because some mcq type question are coming from this now next the game include archery athletics badminton boka canoe cycling equestrian football goal ball judo power lifting rowing sailing shooting sitting volleyball swimming table tennis taekwondo triathlon and some wheelchair sports including basketball fencing rugby tennis and dance so student in para olympic game there are many types of game are included now here you can see that in this picture picture is a tom so what is who is tom so tom was a rio 2016 para olympic games mascot so student mascot means a person एक ऐसा पर्सन है कि हम जिसके थ्रू एक सोच सकते हैं कि हम बोलते हैं ना कोई चीज़ होती है तो कि उसके नसीब में था तो उसको मिला उसका लक अच्छा था बाय लक उसको मिल गया तो हम कई पर्सन को उसके साथ कंपेयर करते हैं कि इसका लक अच्छा है तो इसके साथ ये काम करवाओ तो ये टॉम जो है वो भी एक टाइप ऑफ पर्सन है जो उसके लिए बहुत लकी है it is a magical creature 
a fusion of all the plants in the brazilian forest and it is a magical creature fusion of all plants in brazilian forest the rio 2016 paralympic were the best games ever in terms of athletic performance and it is the best game ever in athletics first belarusian swimmers lehar boki won six gold medals and one bronze and in the, the this paralympic the rio 2016 paralympic and in which swimmer lehar boki won six gold medals and one bronze medal in track and field the uss tatiana mc fadan claimed six medals made up of four golds and two silvers kubas omara duran the world's fastest female paralympian won three golds breaking two world record and also it's a uh, great things for women she won the world's fastest female paralympian award and in which three golds and two world record in powerlifting iron simans rehman created history by becoming the first paralympian to lift over 300 kg and in powerlifting game iran's was created history to becoming the first paralympian to lift over 300 kg the world's strongest paralympian eventually lifted a staggering 310 kg equivalent to a larger siberian tiger next number 5 the paralympic pele jeffiano was the star of the show in football five a side scoring some outstanding goals as brazil claimed its fourth successive paralympic title in the sports and this was the about football game in paralympic and it uh, make a title of paralympic sports now number 6 the brazilian swimmer daniel dais won nine medals he finished with four gold three silver and two bronze medal and also it was goes to a swimmer of brazilian won the nine medals now next number 7 china topped the model tally with 239 medals and only china got 239 medals and in which 107 gold 81 silver and 51 bronze medal great britain stood second with 170 uh, sorry 147 medals and in this second number britain and in which followed by ukraine with 117 medals the united state with 115 medals and australia with 81 medals so first in top china was a first level on a upper level so student here is the table uh, to inform that how many gold how many silver how many bronze medal got this countries so first is china then next great britain ukraine united states and then last australia 
so student remember the number of gold silver and bronze medal next number 8 india stood on 43rd position so student it's a uh, uh, things india stood on 43rd position with four medals in rio 2016 paralympic and in which two gold one silver and one bronze the star performance of india were and who is the star in 2016 paralympic so first is men's high jump t42 men's javelin throw f46 women's shoot put f53 men's high jump t42 and here is the names in uh, participate in this game okay now next student we will discuss next chapter about badminton so student badminton is a sport played using rackets to hit a shuttlecock across a net although it may be played with larger teams the most common form of the game are single so single means with one person or one player per side and doubles means with two players per side so now today uh, start our lesson badminton was was introduced by british officer in india in the 18th century so this game was introduced by a british officer in india in 18th century it was popularly known as pool and uh, uh, in first time whenever it's come it introduce it was popularly known as a pool it was later introduced in england as a game for a guest of duke of beaufort at badminton home and after that it was introduced in england the game for guest and uh, at that time the pool means badminton game is uh, now turn the name of this game is turn in badminton so the first badminton open tournament was held at guildford in england in 18th 19th age and first open tournament was held in england and in 18th 198 so now now here you can see that first ibf established in 1934 so full form of ibf means the international badminton federation so student remember that full form of ibf and it will come in uh, mcq type question or one marks question okay so ibf means the international badminton federation was formed in 1934 and it was established in 1934 and many european countries become its members at many european countries countries are become its member participate in this federation india become its member in 1936 and after 2 year india become member of ibf badminton entered the olympic in Barcelona game in 1992 so student remember every uh, year of different type of olympics it's a uh, format it's it's a uh, establish in which year okay india become its member in which year 
now next badminton court so it means what is the measurement of this court so the badminton court is 22 feet long and 17 feet wide for single singles means only two person means one person per side and 22 feet wide for doubles the net measures 5 feet 1 inch at the poles with the center net being 1 inch less 5 feet of the ground so height of net from the ground is 5 foot okay so, so student remember the uh, measurement of badminton court so student next you can see that some equipment some things to remember about IBF so first major IBF tournament since 1948 Thomas Cup World's Men's Team Championship Uber Cup Women's Team World Championship Individual Events Sudhir Men Cup Mixed Team and World Junior Championship World Grand Prix Finals. So student here is this some things about some uh, cups of women's and men teams. Okay. So first is Thomas Cup. It's a, a world's men team in championship. Next is women's team uh, about a Uber Cup an individual event it means world championship mixed team means men and women are playing uh, together so for that sudhir men cup okay so student remember these things and uh, to make a mcq type question and a short note from this pdf Now, next chapter is alliteration. So, student, what is the word alliteration? Do you know about alliteration? So, now, today we will learn what is alliteration. It is the repetition of the same consonant sound or letter in words coming at the beginning in a sentence. Means, it's, it's a uh, sound of same consonant or letter and in words coming at the beginning letter. Let us learn some examples of alliteration which we use in our daily life. Okay. So student here you can see that first word uh, now we pronounce it PayPal. So man, uh, means student we have read it. तो उसमें आपको पता है कि पेपल मींस उसमें पी रिपीट हो रहा है लेटर पी रिपीट हो रहा है उसका मतलब कि उसका जो साउंड निकलता है उस लेटर का साउंड जो निकलता है वो सेम आ रहा है सो मींस इन विच विच लेटर इज रिपीटेड इट मींस पी ओके सेकंड वर्ड कोका कोला मींस हियर इज द लेटर C was coming at the beginning of word and it was the same sound of C C based by so here is the B Duckin Donuts next William Wordsworth Mickey Mouse Donald Duck James Joyce Okay, so in these all words, first letter was repeated and uh, has a same sound. Okay, student, next here is three uh, statements, three sentences in which we will read that the wicked witch of the waste went her own way. So, student, in this. Dance, 
W is repeated more time. Okay, so means here is the letter W is a alliteration in this sentence. Next sentence, she shells sea shells on the seashore. Means, समुद्र के किनारे के ऊपर जो लेडी है वो सी सेल जो है वो बेच रही है तो उसमें आपको भी पता है और इजीली आप देख रहे हो कि जब भी आप सेंटेंस रीड करते हो तो उसमें एस का साउंड जो है वो बार बार रिपीट हो रहा है ओके नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस बेटर बटर ऑलवेज मेक्स द बेटर बेटर मीन्स हियर इज वर्ड सॉरी लेटर बी वॉज कमिंग मोर देन थ्री टाइम्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टूडेंट फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस हियर इज सम सेंटेंस एंड इन विच यू फाइंड द एलिट्रेटिव लेटर इन इच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंस स्टूडेंट ट्राई योर सेल्फ एट होम हियर इज द नाउ टोटल सिक्स sentence okay thank you